And then, of course, we counted Taryn's fingers and toes to make sure she was normal, whatever that is, normal. And, you know, we, we felt relieved, you know, here, because I did, I quit drinking, quit caffeine. I, you know, thought I did everything right, you know, and um, Taryn was just perfect. It's an inherited disease. And uh, since it's a recessive trait, the child would have to, in order to have the disease, would have to inherit a faulty copy of, of this gene that encodes for this enzyme from each of its parents. There's a 50% chance that uh, a child born of two affected parents will be a carrier like they are. And there's a 25% they'll be totally healthy and they won't, you know, the, the disease will stop with that child. So that child then on won't be carrying that, uh, that defect. Hey everybody, this is Tara Murphy. I hope you like this because this is the water game. Here I go! Are there any coins in there? Darren, are there any coins? You want to throw one in there? I'll give you one. Come here. And you can make a wish. These are not good yoga pants. There's a problem. They have the, they're low in the butt. arm behind your back. Just flat there. That's it. And look up at the sky. This way. Oh, come on. I want to thank everybody for coming to um, our inaugural event uh, tonight, uh, which is honoring um, a very special girl, um, my daughter Taryn. Come here, Taryn. Um, Karen's World, uh, which the, the name of Sven is, is, a, is not only a, uh, a literal uh, world for Taryn, but uh, it's also a, a figurative world for uh, many children who have uh, very rare disorders um, like her. I went through a time where I realized Taryn and I are never going to go ride bikes together. You know, and that's something I guess in the back of my mind at some point I thought of me and my daughter you know, going out and riding bikes. My pervading fear, fear is that Taryn will, we will not find a safe community for Taryn to live in before I'm gone. My hope of hopes is that there will be some intervention, whether it be gene therapy or enzyme replacement, that's not 50% fatal, like a bone marrow transplant with an unrelated donor, that will arrest Terrence's disorder. 
I gave an uh, 18-year-old girl a massage last week, and she's leaving for college this week. And that touched me. It's kind of like there, but for the grace of God, go tear. What do they call this? The clapboard? Or? I've noticed Taryn's, um, her balance is, mm, seems noticeably to me more uh, affected than say a year or so ago. I get more and more worried about these steps uh, living in a vertical house. Eventually I think with <clears throat> Debbie and I both, whether we move apart or whatever we do, we. I think we need to think about going to a horizontal housing so that she doesn't have that problem. Today, my dad first. The and these are his presents. Yeah. Me and my mom and Carla gave him presents. And happy birthday, JT. Happy turning 20. His birthday's today? His birthday was last week. And he turned 26? Wow. Taryn used to be, uh, four years ago or so, a Backstreet Boys fan. And uh, a couple of her friends said, oh, I like NSYNC. And she was like, oh, no, no, I'm st I still like Backstreet Boys. And then uh, there's this boy at St. Elizabeth's that Taryn had a crush on. As a matter of fact, for a little while he was her boyfriend. And Michael liked NSYNC. And Michael, uh, I think, even brought a CD over and had this song, uh, You're the Sunshine After the Rain, you know, this kind of a lovey song, and stood here and lip-synced it to Taryn. And ever since then, Taryn has just been totally head over heels with NSYNC. Hi, I'm JC. I'm Lance. And I am Justin. We're insane. This is Taryn's favorite. This is JC. And Taryn is in love with Lance, too. This is Justin Timberlake. He's what I think most girls' favorite. Okay, a minute and a half of light pressure. And then I'm going to give it to you. You can do the heavy pressure. Okay. A minute and a half of hard pressure. Do you know Ronnie? Nose is running our family. Uh -huh. Karen's world. Welcome to a special place for special kids. Right now, the sound check. Yeah, it's down here by Modell. So. so tell me what's going on here. Uh, we're waiting to get into the sound check uh, party uh, to see and sync rehearse, practice the song. Hey! How was it? Oh my God! It was uh, really exciting. <laughs>
That's it. Why don't you touch that? That's the real signature. They touched this paper. <laughs> yeah, why don't you look at her face? <laughs> they touched that picture. Damn close. And we met somebody who I think is going to get to meet them. And uh, she's, they're taking some t-shirts too that uh, we had made for her. Yeah. I got another thing. F as in Frank. Okay, we'll see you when you get here. Wait, hold on, Tara. I want you to tell Katie something. Hold on. I just saw Justin. She said she, to tell her she just saw Justin real close. Uh, well, it was pretty exciting. We were in the second row. We were about six feet from them. They sang two songs and they answered some questions that some of the girls had. It was incredible. Taryn couldn't even look at him for most of the first song. She looked at him and then had to look away. She was too excited. Taryn, come here. They look cute. I think she's uh, on the edge here. Whoa. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, let's go back inside for a second. Probably the first thing we noticed was um, her head. Her head was very big. Almost immediately, she began having um, colds and ear infections. Come on, Lots everybody! All the time. When she was five, we found out that she had a hearing loss that was significant enough to require hearing aids. I guess Tara was about nine when we found out that she had um, not just a conductive hearing loss from the scarring on the eardrum, but that part of her hearing loss was neurological. I saw the words uh, senso, senso neuro hearing loss. It was like a big flag came out to me. It's like, well, whoa, 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 I didn't realize this had anything to do with. Uh, uh, a neurological problem. This, this, this is something quite different. I thought it was all conducted. We f saw a new pediatrician and uh, walking in the office he looked at Taryn and said, I believe she has a storage disorder. And we said, what is a storage disorder? Manicidosis, alpha manicidosis, is basically a sugar storage disease. That is, it's a disease where cells of the body lack an enzyme that normally degrades this sugar or detaches this sugar uh, and related molecules from a parent molecule. So when that enzyme is missing, mannose uh, containing sugars accumulate in cells. A cell is a little bit like our, our own, uh, like a town or like a country where materials have to be recycled uh, and reutilized. Uh, they're not unlimited resources. And so cells do this by having enzymes that break materials down into smaller parts and then those parts are reutilized in order to make other parts of the cell. And uh, when a cell is missing one of these enzymes, the material that's normally degraded by that enzyme begins to accumulate. And depending on what enzyme is missing and uh, exactly what the importance of that enzyme is for a particular kind of cell, eventually a disease ensues. And for many of the lysosomal diseases, uh, the enzyme is critical for the function of neurons, for brain cells. And so most of the storage diseases have a very significant neurological component. I see you said Cobb. Who's, uh, who's Rand? Oh, okay. Laura? Katie? They're dumb kids in my class. Uh -huh. And that's her, uh, that's her obsession up to the upper uh, left. <laughs>
somebody you're divorced from, you're constantly presented with all the reasons why you're divorced. Do you know that we've been we've been living together divorced almost as much time not quite a couple more years but almost as much time as we were married living together. She doesn't have a dad who beats her. She doesn't have a dad who you know, is filling her head with negative self-image. She has a dad who loves her and cares for her. And that is very important. I mean, that supersedes any feelings I might have because he leaves a little ring top from the milk jug on the counter. You know, I mean, what's important here? Is this for real? Hi. Taryn's birthday. Welcome. 18. Wow. I wasn't expecting this good. That's excellent. You gotta do that with a computer somehow. What, make a bake a birthday cake with a computer? Well, the decoration of the cake, yeah. Oh, nice. Happy birthday! People are here. Your family's here. Nana. Steve, Joyce, Janelle, Jake, and the most fantastic birthday cake you will ever see. What'd you dream? You dreaming about NSYNC again? Wow. And I dreamed that I was with them. You always do that. Go ahead and put your stuff on. You don't mind me dripping in your room, do you? Hi. Good hat. Well, you know what? You're officially 18. You were born uh, 109 p.m. 18 years ago. Congratulations. Who would have ever thought? So those are the pictures of insane. You gonna keep those? Come on down and see everybody. Hi Darren! Good to see you, smiling face. Look, Taryn. Taryn. Who's that? Can you believe it? How does it look? We can't eat this part, though, can we? No. Hey, Taryn. But I can't keep it. <laughs> right. that you would like most for Christmas? What's the... I know what my mom wants. What? Well, I know, but what is the... What do you... What is... The, what would make you what is the, the one, happiest? What is if you the could one, have one thing... Whether it's Christmas or not, what would be the In your one, life, what is the one thing you want, wish for? What is your wish? To me and... <laughs> Taryn, guess what? What? Guess who called me to this morning at work? Laurel from Make-A-Wish. Guess what? Yeah. Guess who you're going to meet? Who? Yeah. NSYNC. <laughs> where? All five of them. Where? Ask where. Where? Is it? Where? Is it? Uh, it's, it's doing it. I want it for her face. I, don't, but, I want her face. Yeah, we leave it alone so we can get everything. Okay. It was all set. I where? want her face. Well, put it down. Put it down. When? The Why? Light. And It's going where? all over the place. You're... You're missing it. Put, just put it down. Dad. 
Okay, uh, she's we're in back. it. We're back. She's in it. She was, she's been in it. When, why, where, and how? Come when? On. Which one is important? Which most important? The where and why and what? Well, time? why? It's because you made a wish. And now you're yeah. going to get your wish. What's the next question? When? When? Next Wednesday. That's a week. A week from today. <laughs> Hey guys, hey girl. Lost for words. You can ask uh, them questions. Uh huh. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Me and Thank. Cool. Right through there. You want a picture with him? We're crazy. She loves. She she loves you. Oh. She really. How are you? How are you doing? Nice Thank you so much. Taryn has a present for each of you too. Could I That's it. You can't have that drying off in your in your bag because then it'll smear and then nobody will know who it is. Or you can go like this, watch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Does anybody ever do that to you? My mom used to do this to me. When I'd be going to school, if she thought I had some dirt on my face, she'd go like this. Oh, come here. <laughs> See, gross, right? Because then you, if, if my mom had bad breath, I'd have to walk around all day with my mom's bad breath on my head. That's sad. Thank you. Satisfied? No, I don't have the right kind of pen. There, he's got one. What do you say? You are quite My best friend loves you. <laughs> You should have told me to start Get plants. Go get him. Plants. Is that one? Is that one? You still need some more. Come on. Get up with JC. Get up with JC. This is what? She's not on that thing. She's not on that thing. Can you tell me what your favorite part of the evening was? When I got in there in the pie. Did the members of NSYNC look like you thought they would? Were they, were they different? Yeah, JT was different. How was he different? He had longer hair. Uh huh. And curly hair. Who was the cutest? JT and Justin. Still, still the same, huh? <laughs> I can remember the comment made to me by one parent of a child with one of these diseases, and she said, "You know, the problem here is that this disease is robbing us of our hopes, our hopes for our children." because we learn that our children are not going to grow up. Taryn is aware that she is different from the kids who are more socially higher functioning. And she wants so much to be a normal 17-year-old girl who goes out on dates. I mean, she knows the difference between her life and, and the life of a lot of other kids. I probably still think there's a chance I'm going to be able to help in some way and I'm going to save Taryn. There may not in all cases be therapies for the absolute cure of the disease. There certainly are therapies that be, can be given to the child with the disease and you have to treat the family as well. You have to do things to help that family cope with the disease. The horizon is getting closer to when we're going to the, the wheelchair. I've already thought about that on some long trips. Maybe I should consider I have to consider a wheelchair, but we've never done that. That hasn't come yet, so hopefully it won't come for quite a while. 
Coda. Is she codependent? 